So if you are looking around YouTube trying to figure out what the heck is going on with crypto, I've got the answer for you. Okay, so that's what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to cover exactly what is happening in the crypto market, why it's down five plus percent, why it's down, you know, to one point one six trillion market cap. Pretty significant fall uh, just in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin dropping uh, four and a half percent and Ethereum dropping eleven point one nine percent in the last 24 hours. If you're new to me, my name is Austin. I cover crypto every single day on my channel. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and stick around because we're going to get into this. So this is really one main event that you see uh, hitting right here, and it is inflation uh, rate data came out yesterday. And U.S. inflation has hit a 40 year high. OK, it has gone up one percent year over year, the most aggressive percentage gain in a long time, uh, if not ever. And uh, at least for uh, for decades, if you will. And this U.S. inflation rate rate hit in the all time high um, also had other pervasive effects. You can see what it did to uh, the stock market on Friday. The Dow Jones finished down 880. Uh, it was significant. OK, so in the Nasdaq, it's finished down 414. Significant, significant impact. So this U.S. inflation data scenario is what is playing out in crypto right here, right now. And it does have an impact. And it's, it also has a ripple impact across what may or may not happen with the Federal Reserve raising their rates. They're set to start meeting in just four days. Um, and that we are expecting them to raise the rate uh, 50 basis points. It's possible they may raise it. They may raise it more now to try to stave off <clears throat> and ward off this inflation. So you can see right here that. Um, so, again, the, the inflation rate data came out. The CPI, the consumer price index, uh, increased by one percent between May and June to take its percentage to eight point six percent. That's eight point six percent inflation highest we've had in 40 years. OK, um, I think that this has one been one of the overriding effects of why the crypto market has been in a pretty significant bearish uh, cycle. Um, you've also got factoring in here, fear and greed, extreme fear. We're still we've been here now for a good six weeks or more plus. Um, so this this scenario playing out with the inflation data um, also goes hand in hand with the with the R word recession. OK, so it uh, depends on who you ask. Are we in a recession or are we not? It doesn't really matter because the the, the psychological effect of the recession uh, is still impacting us all. Right. And in, in its bottom line, if you go to the grocery store to uh, get groceries, they cost more. If you're going to go to the fuel pump to put to get gas for your car, your truck, your vehicle, it costs more, leaving you with less discretionary income to be able to want to put it into crypto or into stocks or whatever it is. And at the end of the day, that is a big part of why you're seeing what's going on here as well, is that there is just less money in the market. People are afraid and they're pulling their money up, pulling their money and they're holding it tight. And I frankly don't blame them because of all of the bad news that is out there and that continues to be pervasive. So if you're looking for what is happening now, that is why everything is happening now. Uh, Bitcoin, we're looking for the bottom to be around 22,000. Uh, Ethereum could go as low as um, 1,200 or so, 11, 1,200. I mean, I, and again, not investing advice. I'm looking at being able to, at starting to buy at these levels because these are significant levels. I honestly didn't think we'd see Ethereum ever again at this level, but we're in unprecedented times right now with Russia, Ukraine, that war going on, the COVID, uh, the COVID impact in, in, in Asia of all the supply chain, massive supply chain, um, you know, problems we've had globally across almost every supply chain out there, which is disrupting, you know, uh, disrupting everything, uh, everything and fuel prices, oil, oil per barrel, all that kind of stuff is just not good news right now. Oh, and by the way, inflation at its all time high, recession fears, et cetera. So that's what I've got for you right here, right now. As always, I appreciate you giving me a few minutes of your day. And if you haven't already done so, stick around and hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button on your way out. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.